I have never been able to find a, uh, a good representation of how uh, exactly how a swash plate operates under cyclic pitch control and so here I'm trying to show on a model that I've built uh, the cyclic pitch and the various rods and moving parts that it is operating. In this case these, these two different rods are spaced 90 degrees apart on the swash plate which is above and will be shown shortly and they control all the angles that that swash plate can be put into and that means of course that the uh, rotor blades uh, by the rods that connect them to the movable part of the swash plate can follow that same angle that the swash plate is put in and thereby guide the helicopter uh, forward, backwards, and to the right and left. Again, we're, we're uh, activating the uh, cyclic pitch control there to, uh, to show the movement of the various parts and here we now include the rods coming up from the movable part of the swash plate, the powered part, the same part that is uh, turning the, uh, uh, the rotor blades and uh, showing the various movements and, and what they do. If you want to see more about rotors, why uh, go to rotorkite.biz and uh, you could even maybe drop me a line from there if you wished. This is now showing the uh, the unit under power and again we will move the uh, various uh, positions of the of the swash plate by means of the uh, cyclic pitch control which uh, is not shown in this picture. We're just hoping that uh, people that have always wondered uh, how these things work, why uh, they might better get a better idea. And, and even even with this crude explanation that I'm giving, why uh, I'm sure there are many, many questions to be asked. And uh, this video is jumping around a little bit, so I'm, I'm not certain uh, with the program that I'm using. Now here we're looking from up above and you can see the uh, the total swash plate it angles uh, in, in, in two different directions which, which gives it the capability to angle in any direction and the inner race uh, moves with the rotor blades and the outer race of course is stationary and uh, therefore you're able to attach controls to it so once again, if, you, if you're interested in more, more about rotors, why uh, go to my site, rotorkite.biz, and uh, drop me an email if you choose. Thank you.